said that we're going to have each other there to help each other and like support, but generally speaking, uh, it's probably going to leave you feeling agitated quite often. I think I rented that one one time at the Air Force Base Library. If I remember right, um, I rented some game that I didn't know was supposed to be really hard like that, but like as soon as you start, like the very first enemy you run across is like this giant dude who's blocking the path and he takes like no damage. I don't know if that's uh, that. It game might or have not. been that one. It just depends. It'll it, it won't matter until we get to it. So are you on Dark Souls? I want to get progress rolling. I'm not trying to complain, but we started a little later in my day than I thought we were going to. Yeah, I'm uh, at Firelink. Okay, so your Firelink fire is still out, so you can't use it. So you're gonna have to go um, up the stairs through the church to Andre's fire to teleport. Okay. Okay. You should have run that a couple times by now. You know that path, right? Yeah. I am going to take a hit of this <clears throat> bliss. G Field just put a uh, Mega Man collection box up for sale. And it's like blue slushy flavored. And the cup is shaped like his ray gun. Oh my god, that's amazing. And it's on sale because of like a spring thing. So I was like, Speaking oh my god. Bliss, did you ever play the Far Cry games? I played. It was either three or four. And I didn't like it. Four sucks. It was probably four. Because if you played three, you would have liked three. I think I played three with my brother Jonathan. And I tried four on my own. And Three's co op, if you played it. It, three's co-op was like a side thing it wasn't the main game and four genuinely speaking was not good like like if you speak from a gameplay standpoint i respect it like it didn't not function it wasn't glitchy or buggy but they failed to deliver a captivating story while simultaneously failing to deliver a location that like drew a lot of people in the himalayas are majestic but as a place to play a video game in, like, it's just not that appealing in comparison to the last title, which was, uh, Tropical Islands, like, gorgeous, you know? There's, uh... Um, it's just something about uh, the way Ubisoft games play, like, something about their engine I don't like. Like, their games feel really stiff to me, or... I don't know what the word would be. I, res I respect what you're saying. I respect what you're saying. But, like, I feel like that's another one of those games, like, Assassin's Creed, where, like, if you haven't played the newer ones, like... You don't have to, but they're not like the older ones. Like, uh, Far Cry 5 and 6 are like a step above Far Cry 3 and 4. Like, in a very big way. There is a side title, Far Cry New Dawn, that I liked, but that was like an extremely streamlined, like, half pieced together game. That wasn't really complete, in my opinion. I didn't hate it, I just don't think it was a whole game. Like a filler game. It was like, it was a DLC that became its own game. Like, all of the other ones are open world, you explore the world, do things in it, and, like, do fun, exciting things. That one was, like, you're at a home base, you upgrade and do things, and then you deploy to mission zones, and they're, like, very small enclosed zones, and you have to, like, eliminate all the enemies. Like, it was not like the other games at all. I am at the bonfire. Fast travel to in Orlando. In Orlando, what? I have a bad habit of screwing my future self over. <laughs> I worked night shift last night, and then I had a dentist appointment at like 10 o'clock this morning. That's rude, That was a dude. bad idea. And they finished within like 20 minutes, but then like, you know, after they finished the cleaning, they got to like let the main guy come and look at it. And after they finished, it took him like half an hour to come and look at it. I about fell yeah. asleep in there. Um... Wild. It was like 11 when I got home and then I still needed to eat because I didn't want to eat before going to the dentist. Y'all have a firehouse sub over there? 
Yeah, up here you mean? Yes. So good. I've never Too actually expensive. had them. They're pricey, but they're good. There's a feature in Elden Ring that I miss in every other game, like, because obviously only Elden Ring has it. And it's called counterattacking, and as a tank build who always uses sword and shield type weaponry, it's one of my favorite things about Elden Ring. And it's so simplistic. It's so simplistic, dude. But, like, if you block with your shield and an enemy makes contact with it, like, hits it, like, instead of... It's almost like if you can't parry, you can do this instead, right? If you can't hit the parry button on the perfect timing, block. And the minute they hit, hit your R2, like, the heavy attack. And there's, like, a sound cue, like, almost like a blade leaving its sheath, like, shing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, as silly as it is to make that sound effect. Yeah. And uh, your guy just fires off an extremely fast, heavy attack that delivers a lot of damage. So, like, for someone like me who loves this type of shit, I'll walk into an enemy with my shield up, like, please hit me so I can just blast your shit in half. Are you at Anna Orlando? Yes, sir. All right, so you're going to want to go up the first set of stairs from the bonfire room. And then you're going to want to uh, go left. Don't go down the elevator that we've been going down in this area. Go left instead. There's two big night guys, and they're both guarding some chests. If you want the loot, you're welcome to try and work these guys out. The best way to do it is if you're going to fight them, you can do it one at a time. Pick one side of the room, go all the way to that side, and slowly walk forward so you only pull one of their attentions. I want the loot. Give me the loot. And here's number two. That's two. Okay. Twinkling Titanite. Oh, that's a mimic. The one on the right side's a mimic. I didn't even look because I don't care because I'm immortal basically, but yeah. I forgot, I guess. That's one to... I hate how big their shields are, because, like, I'll be looking at them, and they're not even intentionally blocking, but they're, like, not getting hit because of it. There's a uh, boss in Demon Souls. He's pretty much just a giant one of these, like an even bigger one. The Tower Knight. Yeah, it's yeah. he's literally the Tower Knight. Like that's the boss's name. He has the same move set and everything. Yeah, oh. that's the. No, I mean like I haven't played him. I just know about him. He got an award on X Play back in like 2004 or five or something. As, like, one of the hardest bosses in the game. I remember, like, being a young ass kid, but, like, seeing that on, uh... Or maybe it was earlier. It was later than that, because I don't think X-Play was... Or not X-Play, but Demon's Souls was even out yet. I just know I remember seeing it and thinking, like, Whoa, that guy looks crazy. He's, like, this gigantic knight. Oh, they might have changed it in the remake, then, because to me he was, like, the easiest boss. You just gotta stay behind him and smack his legs. They are dead, and I got my loot. Awesome. How's your SS flask? I think I have seven. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's a third one that's outside guarding the path that you have to go on. He's in a pretty <laughs> tight, close area. Uh, you're going to have to kill him, though. So either go back and get your Estus, and then come back and only fight him, because he's the only necessary one, technically, or just take a shot at him and see if you can't work his ass out. Oh, I can be easy. The other two didn't even hit me yet. I fought your daddy. I can beat you. I kicked your daddy's ass, and I'm going to kick yours. He's dead. I'm just running up the path now. Is that 
correct. Okay, I yeah, see. but listen, when you get to the door, you'll see the first threat. I just need to warn you. Okay. I'm at the, the door. The second threat is actually about to kill me, and it's pissing me off. It's a giant boar. Okay, do you remember how we killed the first one? Yeah, backstabbing. Yeah, these ones, there's two of them. You can't backstab them. They have, like, complete armor. So, like, they're going to take very little damage, do a lot of damage, but you have to kill them. So, you know, if you're if you're still good on Estus, go for it. But, like, be careful, because they're not easy. I just finished my second one, and he almost killed me, as strong as I am. Oh, I can't even hit. Okay. Every hit just makes you flinch. Yeah, except jump attacks. If you do a leaping attack, like the flick forward and R2, like, like you'll follow all the way through and deliver correct damage, because you can't be flinched off of a leaping attack. Same for parry. You can't be parried from a leaping attack. Ghost is fitting to take all my money. We're about to have to order our uh, second batch of uh, fat burner. And uh, I'm really addicted to their energy drinks because they fucking taste great and they're a real kicker in the morning. No. He just charged forward as soon as I did and smacked me and took away a lot of health. Yeah, that do be happening. I'm pretty sure they're mini bosses though, so I believe if you get them down, you won't have to deal with them again. Yeah, the first one almost dead. The second one is down the hall around a corner, and then it doesn't look like it, but the hallway actually gets a little bit more narrow on the way, and he's even tougher because of it. Like, you'll have a harder time rolling around his sides, because, like, he'll pinch you on the walls as he's doing attacks, so... I can't warn you enough, be careful, but again, like, keep your head up, and you should be able to do it if you keep calm and keep a level head. There's a bonfire right after him, too, so... time is it? I should probably turn the heat off. I love a hot apartment, a hot home, a hot anything. I, it's super comfortable to me. It's super enjoyable. I love being warm as fuck. Amber hates it. So I've literally got my apartment at 80 degrees right now, and it is the most comfortable ever, and I love it. And I get some people don't like that, but that's for me, man. It really is for me. Like That's that shit that I love. But if Amber comes home to a hot apartment, she will fucking tear my head off about it. I don't want to be one of those corny dudes who's just like, I'm warm-blooded or I'm cold-blooded or something, but like, if that was ever a thing that could be a part of a person, like, I feel like whatever affinity my body could have for it, I love being warm and hot, like, yes.
All right, the second one is down. Well done. Impressed. I would have I would have like expected one of them to kill you at least once, but you did very good. All right, so you should get a bonfire after that so you can rest. Feel free to kindle it to get more Estus. Always remember to do that. That's a concept you're going to have to try to keep your uh, head about you with. I kindled that bonfire. All right. Now, this next area is, like, very difficult, and it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, like a balance, right? You remember how, like, I mentioned, like, Seath is, you know, Seath and the other, the other part that we're about to do, they're, like, parts of the game that don't have two bosses, kind of like the last ones had multiple we worked up to. Mm -hmm. Like, this area and the next area we're going to work on don't have multiple, but as a result, you can't co-op them right away, and there's a little bit of some workarounds you got to work with. And uh, it's hard. I'm not going to lie to you. So, like, pace yourself. And if you need advice on anything, like, this guy's beating my ass. How do I handle it? Like, I can give you, like, tit-for-tat instructions on what to even do with your controller. But, like, so this next part, you're going to end up going up this elevator. And you're going to be faced with a room. And there's going to be, you'll see them. There's going to be a lot of hollow undead soldiers. But they've been crystal uh, crystallized. So they're a lot stronger than usual. And, uh... The layout of the room is going to be, there's going to be one to your left, right next to the door, you can't see him. There's going to be like a good two or three up the stairs, another three or four in the room. And then there's going to be a spellcaster in the back of the room beyond where you are. Now, they're all really strong. You're really going to want to try to one, like, at a time deal with them. But, like, you need to keep an eye out because the spellcaster does this thing where he buffs them. He'll make them stronger. And it's very faint and difficult to see unless you're paying attention and keeping an eye out for it. If they have a blue glow faintly coming off their torso, they do way more damage than they'll likely one-shot you. Those are the most dangerous ones. There's a crystal golem in the right side of the core room you're going to end up in. He's not a threat unless you hit him. So even though he looks scary, just don't accidentally hit him and he's not a threat in the room yet. You're going to want to piece up these hollow crystal soldiers one by one until you can get into the big room and take out the spellcaster. Good luck, brother. You try to kill the art, or the, excuse me, the uh, sorcerer. There's an archer in that room. I should warn you.
Oh, what a pussy. Keeps running away. Yeah, they'll do that. I forgot to give you something I'll have to drop for you when I see you next. When you're safe and you can do it, check your uh, inventory for humanities for me if you have any. I have one twin. Hold on to it and don't use it for anything. He's dead. That was so Sorcerer. very close. Yeah. Alright, the archers and shit in the room dead too? Yeah, everything's dead. Alright, I'm very proud of you and you've done incredibly well, but the fight is not over and you're not going to get a bonfire between here and your objective yet, so... Is however well you do it... a huh? mini-boss? Nope. Absolutely not. Um, so now, where are you in the room so I have reference as to what I'm instructing you on? I'm at the top of the stairs on the left side. On the left side? Yeah. Okay, um, there's a chest on that side at the very end of the path on that in that area. Have you gone and gotten that yet? Uh, no. Okay, so you can, you can get that. I saw the one on the other side, but that looks like a mimic. It is. There was also enemies over there, but you might have already dealt with them by now, I'm guessing. Yeah, he kept, like, teleporting and ended up over there. Hell yeah, understandable, understandable. Alright, I got it. 
Okay, um, now you're gonna want to go back the other way. If you want to kill that mimic, you can, but like, don't forget you're alone. I'm not there to help you, so like, you gotta hit him like pretty hard and fast and be careful and not let him get you. Yeah, I'm literally so, like one or two hits from dying, so I'm not gonna risk it. Probably not. Oh, well, I'm gonna let you know now, you're not safe. Things are not looking good for you. Can you check your inventory, see if there's anything to get you health back, like you might have picked up somewhere? Yeah, the only thing I got is the humanities. You can't do that. You gotta have that for what's coming. Alright, well then I guess my advice to you is just be a complete badass and don't get hit a single time. That's literally all I can suggest, man. So, your path forward, you're going to want to go up the elevator in the back of the room. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm going up. Then I'm going to warn you when you get to the top of what's coming, so don't go rushing. Okay. Alright, so you're going to go up the path to the right, and when you do it, there's going to be like a player enemy, like, a, like an invader type. He's not red or anything, he's just a player type. He's pretty strong. He has a crystal shield, a crystal armor set, and a crystal weapon. And he hits really fucking hard, so he'll probably one-shot you if he hits you, but he's got fat rolls because of how heavy he is. And the hallway he's in is extremely narrow to, like, force you into fighting him, but if you back up, you can take him to the open room and fight him there. He's probably going to be a little tough, but maybe you can just backstab him out. But remember, he has fat rolls, so, like, take advantage. And I see him. Good luck. Man, he was one shot. Dang. That's okay. It's unfortunate you'll have to restart, but good luck. I kind of like mentioned it before, but like the stuff we played up until these four bosses in this area was kind of like the Dark Souls tutorial. Like they really get merciless with these areas, like in terms of distance between bonfires, like how the area itself is challenging the enemies and how rude they can be. It's annoying. When I first played this game through with friends, they all started cheating before we got to this point, but I wanted a f completely legit win, so I stopped co oping with them entirely just so I could, like, play by myself and try to get it. And uh, it made it harder, but I was so proud when I finally succeeded.
I gotta find my. There it is, it's right there. I'm just blind. That enemy got impatient, that was funny. He was trying to run at me, but I he had the table on the way, so he was like running him forward for a bit. Or uh, just running in place. So he just smacked the table finally. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Found a strat. Oh, geez, I didn't know you were chasing me. I found a strategy of this room. Just immediately run behind the bookcase on the left. Hell yeah, man, whatever works. Try to get to that, like, end with as much Estus and health as possible. Staying under the staircase to work on the melee enemies, and then I'll take care of the archers. Smart, smart. Alright, he's dead. I haven't killed all the other enemies though. I don't think I need to though, they're way out of the way. Who is he? The uh, sorcerer? This, yeah. Yeah, technically not really. You just need to go up the elevator to get back to uh, that one guy that killed you last and get rid of him. I only used eight flasks that time. So, or, uh, no, not eight. I have eight left. I only used two. I was going to say, damn, is that sarcasm? <laughs> like, fuck, that's actually really funny. <laughs> I only used eight that time. <laughs> of what? You're ten? Fuck! <laughs> Get good already. You're taking forever with this shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Just so proud. <laughs> Where's the lever to bring it down? I'm not seeing it. It's upstairs on the right side, but like as you reach the right side stairwell, like like top, you have to horseshoe around to the left. Oh, there it is. It was behind the column. Sneaky, sneaky. Stabby, stabby. 
I wonder if there's a player out there who didn't see it like me and just like could not find it but didn't have anybody for guidance and was like, man, screw this game. I'm not playing it anymore. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but more than likely, probably not when you consider how far we into the we are into the game for you to even run across this. Yeah. You would have run into something earlier on, like when you were telling me like what we were playing at one point in one of our sessions, you were like, if I was doing this by myself, I had no idea where I'm supposed to go here, holy crap. Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, and Dark Souls 3 are crazy about that. Like, they love keeping secrets from you and making it like, the path forward is secret as hell. You gotta be fucking carving San Diego for this shit. Or something. Yeah, like, I would never think to jump off the map in some parts just to get where I'm supposed to be going. It's wild. Yeah, that's why all of the ch try jumping off messages succeed and get people killed. Like, because it's not, not a thing, you know? <laughs> like... Mm -hmm. Like, there are a lot of places where you're like, oh shit. And then what we're about to do in this area is going to do something to your brain. You're just going to be like, oh god, I'll never be able to trust a message ever again. Are we going to get to another bonfire before we co-op? Um... Yes and uh, no, 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 technically no. Yes, uh, how do I, I'm sorry, I gotta think about your question. I'm actually kind of fucked up about it. Are we going to get to another bonfire before, yeah, you're gonna have another bonfire to work through before you can access co-op. You're gonna hit the next bonfire okay. and you're still gonna have to do some solo stuff. And yeah, why, what's up? I just forgot to restore my humanity before. Well, actually I couldn't because I didn't have any of my stuff. You're fine. Just make sure you kill that guy up top and get your shit back. I'll be right back. I gotta piss. Okay. Oh, Jake, I think I messed up. What happened? Um, uh, I'm... Oh, I died. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, I beat him, and I just ran up the stairs, the only path that I could see, and I went through the fog, and I was fighting a dragon. You were supposed oh? to die. Oh. Now I'm at the Duke's archives. I didn't know you were going to advance without me, honestly, which is fine. It's not like I'm bothered, but like I couldn't instruct you. I was going to tell you to take all your armor off and put on a ring of what's it called to save your souls, but now it's too late. You lost your souls in that room, and you're probably never going to get those back. All I'm right, like a, so now uh... that you're at the Duke's Grand Archives and you've switched some things around, you're still going to have to go solo for a little bit longer, and it's not going to be the easiest thing ever, but it'll be all right. Um... So you're going to be in a jail cell, right? Don't go crazy moving around a whole lot yet. Um, light the bonfire. Uh, and then at the back of the cell are three enemies. Kill them. Okay. Hello, douchebags. Backstage. Next All right, they're all dead. Okay, now head back. Um and then when you're standing next to the bonfire, 
look to the door, and then if you look to the left of it, there's like a uh, like snake guy leaning up against the door, right? Yeah. Give him a good shank through the the bars. Shank his ass. Oh, he did. All right, grab the key off his body. Okay. All right. Um. Prison break time. Uh, you're gonna want to open the door. Go out and then let the cutscene play and immediately go back in and then just stand there and don't do shit. Like, just, just stand there for a minute and let me know when the two snake guys go past. Alright, the cutscene is over. Now I'm waiting. That's one snake guy running past. There's two. Alright, now when you leave the cell, look down the giant spiral staircase and you'll see these tentacle creatures coming up. They have very obvious tells of when they're going to attack, and their attacks aren't very fast per se, but they can get you and hurt you real bad. You're going to have to take all four of them down. I'm going down the stairs, right? Yes, correct. Don't go up. Oh, that's the same sound as, um, there's a Demon Souls enemy that's like a big, it's like a wizard with an octopus for a head. When you kill it, it makes the exact same sound. I see. <clears throat> I'd like to go on record as saying one of, like, the reasons this area is so hard is because one... See, the scaleless dragon is still one of the few remaining creatures in this land who's aware of the power he has and how some covet it, so he's defended himself with a lot of shit around him. And two, he's like a master of magic and experiments, so all these things in here are his experimental creatures he's basically put out to keep his place defended.
Alright, everything's dead. Wait, there's <clears throat> a couple more in that back room. Is that yeah. my room? Uh, you're gonna be working your way, like, yeah, down the stairs. You can open cells at your own risk. Some of them have enemies, some of them don't. Well, some I'm on of the them very have bottom. items. Oh, you're already done with everything? I, okay. You just move so fast, and you don't really like say anything like until you're... By the cogwheels. Okay, yeah. So, like, um, the ones that are sitting in the back are docile until you attack, but they both are, like, carrying miracles. They're, they're things that don't really concern you, per se. You don't really have to go after them to kill them if you don't want to. Um, there's a ladder that you may not have noticed, but it goes mm. up. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah, you're going to want to go up that, and then there's going to be three snake enemies at the top that you have to kill. I don't know if that's going to happen. To, uh... Yeah. Well... <laughs> I don't know what to say. I... Good luck. Two of them have swords and shields, and one of them's going to throw lightning bolts at you. I think one of them fell down while I was fighting the goofy things, because I fought a lizard on the bottom, and there's only two up here. That's possible. Let me know when you've killed them all, though. Oh, I didn't know I could backstab these guys. That's never worked before. Oh, now that I know that, you're finished. <laughs> All right, they're dead. <laughs> well done. Okay, so now the next thing you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna wanna pull the lever next to the sound box that's sounding the alarm, but you need to know that in doing so, the two that originally passed you by ran out of fear because they knew those blue serpent creatures were freed and they weren't safe. When they hear the alarm being turned off, they're, they, they're gonna know like the blue serpent creatures are safe and taken care of. They're gonna work their way down from the very top and that's where you're going after having gathered all the items in these rooms, is at the very top of the stairs now, you can go up a ladder and open a door and escape the area. So, you're gonna have to go up and fight two more snake guys. If you want, you can technically rest at the bonfire in your cell, and then just do it over again, but only kill the two snake guys as they go up, and then go up the ladder and ignore everything else. But you'll, you'll have to deal with those two on their way up, like, because if you don't, they'll climb the ladder and wait at the top of it, and it's a very small platform, so you will not get past them. But since I already pulled the uh, lever, I can just, like, rest with the bonfire and then go up. Yeah. Okay. I might need to do that. I have, like, a third of my health left with no flasks. You try, try to get past them, do your best. If you die, I guess it won't really matter, but like, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather not, I got... Stuff. Well, I'm at the room and I haven't seen them yet, so... Rest at bonfire. Sugar! Hi. When you spawn, if you can get out of your cell fast enough and just go off the stairs, like, after resting, you could beat them and just get up the ladder and open the door and get through. But I'm it like... would be a good time to warn you of something, right? So, like, are you at the bonfire resting? I'm halfway up the ladder, but I'm looking at the lizard guys, and they're not even moving. That's not good. Go back to the... Not that... that. You need to go back to the bonfire, okay? Uh. Okay. You move. I'm not saying there's anything really wrong with it, but you move so fast and you don't communicate it, so I don't even have the chance to tell you to stop because I don't know what you're doing. I'm at the bonfire. Okay, so 
You need to do the glitch to get 9-9 nine, nine humanities. So, set it up, get the arrows in line, and then remember what you were doing wrong last time so you can get it right this time and get the 99 humanities. And then use it to, uh... I'm getting a phone call, I'll be back, but use it to do the thing. Hello? Okay, I'm uh, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So you have used your ninety nine. You got your ninety nine humanities. Yeah, I was testing a weapon out and accidentally got the attention of the lizard dudes. I'm fighting them right now. It's whatever. You can always rest again, but uh, you, you're gonna have to anyways. I need you to reverse your hollowing and then kindle the bonfire so you have more Estus. And then I'm okay. gonna tell you where you what you're gonna do next. So I should be good there. I'm gonna switch my weapon back real quick. I need you to kindle it anyways. Or no, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I lied. You're fine. You're actually fine. Um, if you're all good then on all that and you're you're human, then do the thing you were originally trying to do before. Like I interrupted you and told you to go back. Go up the ladder and open the door. Do 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 do. Climbing up the ladder. I heard in Elden Ring there's a ladder that takes like a few minutes to go all the way down on. I don't know. 
It's really funny. There are some elevators that are... I, I don't want to spoil it, man. I don't want to say anything. Like, you've already heard some stuff about the game, apparently, but I don't want to be the reason, like, you expect something, and then you're like, yeah, you were right. I'd rather you just see something and be like, whoa. There's going to be a couple of whoa moments throughout our playthroughs here. It's going to be pretty fun. I'm excited. I think the final boss of the four bosses we're going to fight is going to be a whoa moment. Did you kill, by the way, that crystal golem I told you about that was docile, did you kill him? No, I didn't have the health to kill him at the time. Okay, that's fine. You're going to have to go back and kill him at some point, though. He has yeah. an item that we need. You need, you need two pieces of an, uh, two, two pieces to um, a set in order to access the DLC in the game. I opened the door. I haven't moved yet. Okay, you can go through it. Um... I put my sign down, like, right at the first archway. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but if you don't, after staying there for a second or two, you might get attacked from an enemy. You can keep on advancing on the path. Let me know if you see it. I see it. Grab me up and let me help you, then. Summon Guggenheim. Guggenheim. It's me, Guggenheim. <laughs> I would love if he actually talked like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know Amber <laughs> wouldn't. It just reminds me of like the, uh, like you see in cartoons with like the um, pigtailed blonde hair and like the midgets and I don't know. Cartoons could be pretty guts. racist. Left, left, press behind us. Sorry, I was communicating uh, poorly. Uh, my nerf is significantly less now since you worked out getting stronger. I have most of my health, like barely missing any, and I'm hitting really close to what I normally should hit. I'm not going to bother explaining this area like I was most areas, um, because I'm already in your game and I can help you. But uh, this is Seath, uh, the Scaleless Dragon's like magical archives after... Uh, Gwyn, like, gave him what he get, did. If you remember, Gwyn's original plan was to get the power of, like, the first flame and the great souls he found and distribute them among four so they could defeat the overlord dragons and, like, live themselves freely. Seath was, like, the secret key to it all because Seath told, like, Gwyn, like, yo, they're weak as shit to lightning, bro. Like, dragons are weak as fuck to lightning. Fuck them up with your lightning, homie. So he, like learn to perform miracles and like throw lightning bolts and with the help of his like four homies he defeated the dragons so Seath is like the great betrayer